Hello and welcome to another update video about Cosmos Atom. It has been a while that I covered Cosmos um, on this channel. It was the last time on the 6th of November. To be honest, I don't even know why I stopped. Um, just sort of forgot about it and uh, looked at the daily winners today and thought, well, there was something about Cosmos. So yeah, I'd like to cover it again. Um, it has obviously made some impressive gains over the last seven days, especially considering what the crypto market is doing as in general. And considering also today's performance of Bitcoin, Cosmos is doing really well. So I'm going to take a look at it. Um, really want to tell you how far I think it can go currently and where at least key resistance levels are. And I want to talk about what I did tell you last time and see if it actually came to fruition. So on the 6th of November, I had my last Cosmos video. Let me just go here to the daily chart. Prices come from Coinbase, by the way, this is the Coinbase chart. So we're going to take a look at what I told you last time in my view would be happening and then or would happen. And then we take a look at what the price is doing now and where it could be heading. So last time I showed you um, or I talked about the chart here on the 6th of November, which was pretty much here. It was actually just before that strong drop here on the 10th of November. I told you back then that the chart wasn't really looking good at all. And that I obviously couldn't give anybody any advice about selling or whatever, but um, that everybody might want to consider to take action because the chart was looking really bad, actually. Because on that day, what we could identify in making this TA, we could identify a lower high here. So the second low was higher, in indicating the buyers couldn't really push the price higher anymore. We could identify on the daily a bearish divergence on the chart, yeah, and what we also could identify on the 6th of November was that we had a bearish cross on the MACD, which happened on the 5th of November. So I made you aware of all these things and yeah, really was quite bearish in my outlook. And we can see what happened after that. We had basically from that level, hmm, pretty much a 50% drop. Yeah, so the correction just started when I made that video. Um, well, probably it started earlier, but this was really I think the last point to exit just with a you know without massive pain because after that we had a massive drop in one day of um there you go from here from around 20 25 percent and yeah since that video we had lost wow around 43 percent which obviously the entire crypto market did but it was very apparent on the on the cosmos atom chart what was going to happen and don't forget the last thing that I made you aware of was here the 50 day um, moving average. And I made you aware that we had here a, that we were crossing just below the 50 day moving average. We had just lost it, which is a very, very important sign. A lot of cryptos adhere to the 50 day moving average very well, especially in a down and uptrend. And um, in um, ranges, you cross it quite often, but then in uptrend, cryptos tend to hold it very well in a downtrend as well, as you can see here. In that uptrend here from July, we had one touch point, two, three touch point, well, various touch points here along the way, and especially here when the price was getting, when you had that pullback to the moving average. And then in the downtrend, after the cross, you again had a pullback just from the downside and here another one. And when you then finally crossed it, retested it, then you started to move up now. So again, this is a big sign here for Cosmos Atom, the 50 day moving average. Now, where can it be heading? And what is what is going on with this chart? Why is this chart so bullish? Why is it looking so strong? And to be honest, from all the cryptos, I think it's even more bullish in percentages than Harmony 1. Um, so we're going to take a look at that. So first of all, just to draw a trend line here, I think this could become a trend line here. So the price could actually come all the way up. Just a technical target here of $42.50. So it is one to keep in mind. 42 and a half as resistance. Um, also bear in mind when you track the chart here, I think the, the 50 day moving average here for Cosmos is quite crucial. What I also would put on the chart is probably the 20 day. Let's just put the 20 day moving average on the chart. Take a look at what it's doing. Well, we had a bullish cross here as well from the 20 and the 50 day moving average on the 2nd of Jan, which is probably also a sign why this price is just moving up now. Um, so where are we? Yeah, in my view, again, with in line with many other cryptos, what many other cryptos did, we made an impulsive move here to the upside throughout June, July, August, September. And then we just started to sort of bleed out. Yeah, We had just had a 
a long correction, ongoing correction that came down all the way to the 0.618 FIB level. Again, one of the most important Fibonacci retracement levels. So here, that's the 0.618 at nearly $22, $21.90. We dropped briefly below it all the way down to yeah, $20. So the psychological mark of $20 is of course important. Um, so what I normally do when we've got a, a FIB level, which is very close to a round number, I definitely pay attention to that number as well. It's um, it's always advisable, I think, to, to do that. Now, what in terms of if this was an impulse, what, what do we see here? Now, again, in line with what many other cryptos are doing, I think generally taking that whole sentiment of the market into account, I think what we could be seeing here is an A, B and a C. Now, from that point of view, this could actually be finished, okay? Um, and this is really the only crypto where I would consider that. Um, many other cryptos look much more bearish. Um, Cosmos looks incredibly good on this chart. Um, so this could definitely be an ABC from where you then are um, continuing now in an impulse in a one, two, three, I would love to see now a fourth and a fifth wave, and that would be a good sign. Um, now the other the other possibility, of course, is, and that would be what I would actually primarily say, is that all of this, and this is what I see for Bitcoin, was a wave A, an impulse down, where you had here possibly here your your one two. You know, maybe you. It's difficult because it it is really difficult. You can't actually. So one, two, no, because this came up very, very high, and the one came down very low. No one, two. Yeah, you can't really identify a proper four here. I think. So. A, what you probably had is maybe that, an A, and we would need to zoom in. You came down, you had your A down here, your B up there, and then in A wave C, that's probably how it looked like, A, B, something like that, A, B, and then you came down here in your wave C. There's definitely a possibility. In the end, it doesn't make a great difference if you had the B here. It must have been there then. A, B, C, and now you're starting an impulse. What this, however, could also become, and this is something to be very aware of, an A, B, C. This at the moment looks like a three-wave structure. You, you, don't really, you can't really see a, a five-wave yet or fifth wave yet. So in a three-wave, what? and I showed you that in the Algorand video, that I've just um, done. So I wonder if they actually have that here. It doesn't matter. So you've got your, your ABC. What this could be is it called an X. An X is a combination or is a, is a connector between an ABC and another ABC, which you then call W, um, X, Y. <clears throat> so this here could really be um, this connection. And then you get another ABC down, yeah? So you've got uh, your ABC, which is a three wave. Then you've got another three wave here and another three wave down. I think this would be probably the likeliest view. And for this retracement here, then we can define a target area. It has already come up quite a lot. And if we define here the retracement from that move down here, I mean, we have come up all the way now nearly to the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level. So my view is that we are going to see at least here the, and we're very close anyway, the 39.70. And if we can break that, the 42, possible, certainly. So somewhere in here, I would say. Um, and this would be my, my bearish view because then you could come into this range and from here then drop again. And this would also be, you know, if you if you can come up into this range, this descending trend line then comes into effect and you come up all the way maybe to $42. So possibly here, 
into this area and from there then you would start another correction down not in a straight line into this area here which is what many other cryptos are doing currently coming into this target area or on their way into this area which is then taking it from the other way from that impulse the retracements of that impulse to the upside you come down all the way into the area between the 0.887 and the 0.786 fib level ideally i would like to move that up a little bit just below the 0.618 that we had here the wave c then or that next in overall on a high level you can then see that as a large abc um, you come down then in the area between the 0.618 because this would then have been here the the a the b and the c and you would see that wave c on a higher degree coming um, below the wave a and this is what i think is the most likely way of looking at it um, yes it is looking bullish it is looking very strong but bear in mind um, on the daily you're now getting overbought nearly overbought again and whenever you got overbought here on the chart um, i mean the price could continue a little bit but then you had your divergences your bearish divergences and then at some point you get your retracement to be honest i think with that move the price could even theoretically it could all go all the way up to the all-time high possibly overshoot it a little bit yeah unfortunately that is what if we take this as a high level wave b and then the c would be down there um this is unfortunately what a, what a wave b can do bitcoin's wave b did that it overshot the previous high um which is unusual but it happens and then you come down in your wave c down there so I think this is how it could turn out. Um, I, I mean, I am bullish on Cosmos anyway. I think this year we're going to see higher prices depending on how Bitcoin develops. Um, this is based on my expectation that Bitcoin is gonna have another sell-off and then is going to turn around from that sell-off target area bit in my Bitcoin videos to new all-time highs. And then I think Cosmos will follow as well. And could we see the $100? Well, maybe. Um, certainly, I would say at least $67 here, the 1.618 extension area or $81, the 200%. That should be possible after a strong retracement down here into this area, after which we would then continue to new all-time highs. That's how I see this chart. Would there be a bullish version of it? Yes, of course, we could just pump through here. I think the likelihood is lower, um, but even for that, I gave you the key resistance areas. And going in now would be highly risky. You know, just buying now wouldn't do it. That's always the problem. People get pay attention to these cryptos here, but this is really when you should start to talk about profit taking already, because making such a profit in a short period, I know it always looks very impressive and it is impressive by all means, but um, how sustainable is it? Already 100% since the, the low, this is when People should start to talk about profit taking, think about profit taking, not necessarily take everything out. I don't say that, but maybe starting to dollar cost average out, especially now that we have come above the, the 0.214 FIP level here, maybe just before reaching here that next resistance area that I talked about. Um, but I wouldn't probably take everything out personally. I'm just talking about what I would do personally. I probably wouldn't take everything out with dollar cost average out and then leave, leave rest and write out the, the trend and um, at some point then we need to continue to pay close attention to the 20 and the 50 day moving average when you see a cross to the downside of them then i think this is over as well so um, i think this is how it could turn out um, i would be very surprised if it just continues to pump from here to new all-time highs but nothing is impossible but i can only tell you what the elliot waves tell me and how, what i think is the most likely way of looking at it and uh, yeah, hopefully you liked the update about Cosmos. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.